It's Champions Cup semi-final weekend, people, and I am excited. We've got two belting games to look forward to. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Leinster, Northampton, their selections, and how I see the game going. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to the channel. Going to be here with you throughout the end of the domestic season and beyond. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of that future content. Now then, as I said, Leinster versus Northampton. What are we looking at here? So let's talk about recent weeks, where these teams are, are at the moment and what their sort of run into this game has been. Leinster have had almost ideal preparation. They've had their South African tour, which they pretty much sent the academy side down to. So none of the top players went on that two week trip down to South Africa. That allows them perfect preparation time to come into this game. There is a possibility that you won't be match sharp. That is always a chance. And, you know, we'll potentially see that in the first few minutes. But I think it's about as perfect prep as you can really get. They should be fresh and raring to go. Whereas Northampton have played Leicester in the East Midlands derby and then in the big game at Quinns. So not just two tough fixtures, but two big events as well. Like they're really huge. So that might be a drain psychologically as much as physically. Now, Northampton did get a little bit of rotation in there. They did sort of move some players around and come away with one win. Uh, and a bonus point from that other game is a good return, I think, for Northampton from those games. I think they're in good shape as well, but there is a slight imbalance there for sure. In terms of selection, Leinster were obviously hoping to get some of their big guns back for this game, but Gary Ringrose, not available. James Ryan, not available. Hugo Keenan, not available. These are big, big players for Leinster. So will that come to roost? Will that be a factor? Potentially. We'll see. A mention for Kean Healy, who's on 110, not out, has been the joint most capped Champions Cup player ever, tied with Ronan O'Gara right at this moment. He'll potentially become the most capped on Saturday if he gets on the pitch, which I'm sure he will, avoiding it as long as he avoids injury. Coming back for this game, Josh van der Fleer in the back row, left out last time for tactical reasons. At fullback, Kieran Frawley. Deputising for Hugo Keenan as he did very well for Ireland. In the centre, Jamie Osborne, who looks like a really talented player, very, very sharp. Whether you know that'll be the same in a you know in a Champions Cup semi-final where things are going to get really physical and intense. Has he got the experience? Maybe. And Ross Maloney in for James Ryan, which leads to a very heavy looking second row pairing. Now, Northampton. The big news is no Oli Slightome, who has been in absolutely brutal form recently. His power game is looking like something very unique. So, sadly, he's not there. But George Hendy is no mean replacement. He has done fantastic stuff every time he's got on the pitch. And, you know, if he gets a try on Saturday, you know, to see his happy face galloping over the line will be a joy for everybody apart from the Leinster fans. Also, no Lewis Ludlam. But actually, Lewis London hasn't been in the best form this season. And Sam Graham, who's playing seven in his place, or, you know, selected at seven, is playing with such violence at the moment that I think he would have potentially started anyway. So I think Saints are in good shape, uh, not too far off their strongest side. In terms of the weather, it's looking like it might be a little bit drizzly, a bit windy. Um, however, I fancy that both these teams will not really take that too much into account. I think... It will be good enough that they'll both go and play their natural games. And even if it does get a little bit drizzly and windy, I mean, we've seen Ireland are used to it. They play in the wind and the rain all the time. But you look on the other side for Saints, Northampton have been to Munster and won in an absolute deluge earlier this season in this competition. And Finn Smith orchestrated that, just managed that game in the second half so well. So if it does go that way, I'd say Saints are well placed or at least equally well placed. It's going to be tight, I think. That's where I'm getting down to. Let's look at some key matchups. I've got Jamison Gibson Park against Alex Mitchell, who I think, in terms of tempo scrum halves, are the two best in the world at the moment. They get in and get that ball away and get moving so, so quickly that defences have no time to reorganise. And it is like factorially or quick, more quick than most other scrum halves. They're in there and moving. And it makes such a difference to the way these teams play. So... If they get into phase play, look out for these guys jumping on that ball, quick available ball, and they're in and the ball's gone before anybody can even react. 
That's going to be a key matchup. Which one, which team's going to get on top, which will allow their scrum half to play? I also think another key matchup here is going to be in the props. And I think it's possible we'll see both the tight heads be the dominant force. Trevor Davidson has been one of Northampton's most important players and signings. He's absolutely rock solid in that scrum. Now, can he put some pressure on Andrew Porter and, you know, get that elbow to drop? All the things that we've seen, he's got a reputation for it now. And, you know, that's very tough to shake. Uh, I know I've been there. And on the other side, uh, we have, <laughs> I know I said I've written these down, uh, Ty Furlong against Alex Waller. Now, Waller, again, is a very, very decent loose head, but he has had some, he does get penalised sometimes as well. So if Furlong's on his game, and he has been absolutely rampant in recent weeks, then we might see him be dominant as well. But most of all, what I think we're going to see is system versus system. Both these teams are very much system teams. That Leinster machine, we call it, so well oiled, players can come in and out, chop and change and it makes no difference really or very little difference to the output that they get and we've noticed that with uh, Leinster we've noticed it with Ireland for many times now for many years rather and we're starting to see it with Saints their back line they can put players in all kinds of different positions like Litchfield played 12 last week he's normally a winger Freeman's in the centre where he plays on the wing Furbank can play fullback or 10 and it makes no difference and this is backed up by some stuff that Courtney Law's said this week on For the Love of Rugby podcast when in their coaching reviews if somebody jumps out of the system and does something well that's no good for the coaches at the club at the moment they want the players to play within that system and stick to that sticking to their system is the best way for the team to get success and I think it's showing like it's really showing isn't it Northampton are top of the prem and as I mentioned they seem to be able to swap players in and out and it makes a little difference to the overall output so system versus system which way is this one going to go it's obviously in croke park eighty-two thousand people in dublin it's going to be an intense atmosphere i've got a feeling northampton are going to really show up and perform i think they were off it a little bit last week um uncharacteristic errors i think that might be good for them coming into this week i think they might have made their errors last week and i think we might see an absolutely amazing game here god damn it i'm going to go for it I'm going to pick Northampton to win in an absolute thriller. Something in the 30s each. Uh, and then on to their European Champions Cup final. That's my call, but what do you think? Uh, any other factors that you think will play a key role in this game that I haven't mentioned? I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. If you don't mind, it helps other people find it. And you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And do not forget to get out and play.